All right, ladies. This right here is from my grown folks, okay? So, here's the thing. I'm going to give a disclaimer before I go in. If you got children, you might want to send them babies out the room. Sensitive ears, saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost Spirit, and just can't hear all of this. Girl, turn off the video and walk away. Or, if you in a judgmental zone and your spirit just won't allow me, to be a ministry in your heart or even help you get ready toward to get to the man go ahead girl walk away i ain't gonna be mad mm -hmm. i know who i know who i am now y'all ready all right so this video is for all my ladies who getting ready to get that D tonight. Hey. She want the D. She want the D. She want the A. Hey. She want the D. Hey. All right. So it's your sis. It's your fam. Carla. And today. You got a couple hours right. I'm pretty sure. That's why you are watching this video. Because you got a couple hours. I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. In order to have a great night. And to have success on your side. You can't handle it. You can't worry about his side. But to get it popping on your side, I'm going to help you. Okay, you right. guys. I got 10 tips on how to help you. You ready? Go get your pen and your paper. <sighs> I'm going to start off with number 10. Here we go. Number 10, girl. Stretch. Mm-hmm. Girl, you going to have to stretch. So, you don't know if he working with a monster. Or maybe he, you know, sent you a, a, uh, you know, a pic. And you like, oh, okay, he's serious. Girl, stretch. You don't want to catch a cramp. You already know if they thick with it, he going to throw them legs to the moon and he gonna try to pound that out so if i were you stretch get you a good warm-up <laughs> get you a good warm-up in family fam sis girl you gonna be i'm telling you gonna call me and you gonna be like girl i should have stretched carl i should have stretched stretch i'm telling you i'm gonna tell you from my notes because i gave i got some notes here to help you stretch okay because we already know with thick dudes with long dudes hung dudes they be beating it up they they go they beat it up so stretch all right number nine this is my personal opinion i think that d dates should happen at his house or at a hotel here's why hear me out because if it go all the way left or don't work out right or was like really a bad experience, you can hit it. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta be trying to wake him up, telling him he gotta go, making excuses like, oh, you know, I have yoga in the morning. Yeah, he can go. Mm-hmm. Yep. So if all possible try to have your d dates at a hotel or his house okay so either you gonna deal with a man who got his own see how see how i just equated that he need to have his own to date you sis to date you pretty girl he needs to have his own or he needs to have money to get y'all a nice hotel room and i don't mean nothing mess no mess. I mean, a nice hotel room that you're comfortable in. Okay? All right. Number eight. 
this is self-explanatory, but I'm going to say it. Wax. Or shave. Girl. <sighs> he don't want Alf. Okay. Now, you you going to have to get it together down there. Okay. Miss Kitty needs to be put together. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Real men, they don't care about a little hair. Real men, they don't care, uh, you know, if it ain't, you know, snatched all the way off. Okay. But you're going to have to have it nice and trimmed where he can get to it. He don't need a, a buckwheat down there. He don't need the forest. He don't need it, sis. If you need help, in my previous video, what I told you to do, use what? Mm-hmm. Yep. You got a couple hours. Knock this right on out, okay? Get it as smooth as possible. And I'm telling you, the, the you'll thank me. He don't need Alf. And if you don't know who Alf is, Google it. He don't need Alf, okay? All right. All right, and here's another reason why I said to have it. Um, the the next the other reason why I said to try to have it at his house or at a hotel. Here's the reason why because that leads me to number seven: dark sheets. And the reason why I say dark sheets is because in number seven. You don't need to wear your good expensive makeup. No, you don't need to wear your Lancome, your MAC. You need to pop out that drugstore foundation and balm number two and balm number five and get it popping. Okay, you don't need the expensive makeup. For one, he getting beast mode with it, especially if it's your first time. He got something to prove and you do too. Two, you don't like... It's going to all end up on the sheets, which is another reason why you want the dark sheets so that it don't look like a crazy massacre in the bedroom, okay? Not only that, but okay, we grown. I'm a, I'm, let's just be honest and real, okay? If you really getting it in and he putting it down and he doing what he's supposed to, it get wet. And with white sheets... It pick up all of that wet and you're going to see a big ass ring in the middle of the bed. So, sis, <laughs> I'm telling you, dark sheets, okay? Not only that, but your makeup rubs off on the sheets as well. And that's another thing. Don't go paying a Keisha, Cynthia, Mercedes 40 and $60 to do that makeup. He gonna sweat it off. He gonna tear up them eyebrows. Girl, he gonna be looking like powder coming out of there. He gonna be like, what the hell? Where's your face? I'm telling y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you. Just keep it simple. A cute light beat is simple. But make sure them lips are popping. Because that's what you're paying attention to. He paying attention to them lips. Because he want to see what it do. What you doing over, I mean, can you work them lips? And he might even say something like, Dang, them lips, your lips look sexy. I wonder what they do. You do too. That's why you here. Okay? So, moving on. Number six. Okay. This is my, this is another personal favorite of mine, mints. Get you some mints. You want the brush, breath, I'm sorry. You want the breath to be minty. Don't, I would say don't get no gum because you can fuck around and choke, choke on some gum. Like, uh, gum could go down the wrong way if you, if you, if you doing it right. Yeah. And where you gonna put it? Mints, mints, mm -hmm. mints, mints is good, you know. I'm just saying, get you some mints, okay. Number five, 
liquor, cocktails, wine. Mm hmm Edibles. Make sure something is on deck that will break the tension because I don't know about you guys, but if you've never been with someone and it's your first time and there's chemistry there because you were on the phone or you've been hanging out your first time, it's a little awkward. So if you have those things in place, it kind of breaks the tension and kind of gets you guys in a mood. Okay, and what we're trying to do, fam, is set the atmosphere. That's all we're trying to do. Set the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So we can get some good day. Hey. Hey. Okay. Woo. Number four. Wear some pretty panties. Lingerie. Hey, you know what? I've even found... If if he's left, well, it's the summertime right now. So, a t-shirt and your panties on. That's a soft t-shirt and my panties on. That's the same. But I found that summertime, t-shirt with your panties on. Or, if it's fall or cool. Maybe a jacket, a button-down shirt, possibly. Just nice, sexual, enticing, easy to get out of. Not a lot of strings, not a lot of fuss. Just some good... It should be... You know what, sis? It should be effortless. You should walk up in there like... I'm beautiful. I got this. I'm a catch. You need to be rocking with me. I'm sexy and I know that shit. And you lucky to be, you lucky to be in my presence. That's how that attitude should be. You should have the confidence to step in there and know that Miss Kitty good. Okay. All right. Just saying. Now, here's the thing. You need to look soft, sis. Okay? I got one tip. If you're going to wear sexy stilettos, make sure you can walk in that shit. Okay? Because I'm telling you, alcohol and stilettos, and you don't walk in stilettos, you're going to end up in, in, in the table. You won't, I'm trying to save you fam from an emergency room visit. Please wear some cute heels that you can walk in that you feel confident and sexy in. Because if he asks you to keep them cute shoes on while he tearing it down, you want to be able to hold your balance. Okay? Take it from me. If you're going to wear some pretty Heels or stilettos. Make sure you can walk in them. Especially when you get alcohol. Because ain't nothing cute about crashing through his damn table. Or messing up your house. Or getting so drunk that you just stumbling over your feet. Ain't nothing cute. That's not sexy. Mm -mm. It's not. Not. And. Ain't nobody going to tell you you cute. He going to be like, oh, man, she told my shit. That's what he going to say. So I'm trying to save you from the emergency room visit. I am. I'm trying to save you from that bill, girl. Make sure it's effortless and soft. Okay? All right. Tip number three. We're moving right along here. Create a playlist. Mm -hmm. Don't let him create the pay playlist, girl, because he going to have you listen to some drill, some Chirac type of gunshot pow, pow. You, you do not want to be in the mood or him knocking it out in the back. And you hear gunshots. You going to be ready to hit the floor. You, this ain't what life is about. Like, you don't want to be shot trying to get it. You don't. You create 
the atmosphere. You create the playlist. Mix up a little new school her. You know, I like focus. You know, focus on me. I like that song. Mix it up with a little mint condition. Pretty brown eyes. You can have a little, you know, you can you can have a little upbeat in there, but let it not be something with um, you know who I like? Um Pop Smoke. I'ma tell you why. He has that voice that ooh, ooh, ooh. That song, I love, I love Pop Smoke. His voice and some of his songs, you can rock with that, sis. You can. But, yeah, we, we don't need to hear Chief Keith, okay? None against him. Nothing against him. I love Chicago. None against Some of that drill music, I'm, I'm in the car. I'm like, hey. But not, not Chief Keith in the bedroom, okay? All right. Um, and make sure it tells it like a little story. Don't, don't put, like, think of it, you know, have some thought behind it is what I'm saying. Don't put something fast and then like, it, have some thought, have some thought with your playlist. Okay. Make sure that you listen to the playlist before you just go out there on the limb. Oh, and another tip with your playlist mute your phone put your phone on do not disturb please because there is nothing worse than you're in the groove you're enjoying yourself and then all of a sudden the music stop because you got a text message or you have um notification bell go off or something it throws it off okay so, and not only, and who should, who calling you at one thirty two? You trying, you on your D-date. If you on your D-date, turn, turn it off completely. Don't even have it on. Don't even have it on. Your kids ain't up. They sleep. They should be. They badass. It should be sleep. I'm just saying. All right. Number two. Make sure ladies that you have your essentials so if you dealing with a trap boy i'm gonna tell you now they ain't really too concerned about towels okay or too much hygiene i'm gonna say that so make sure you carry a little a little little face towel with you please make sure you carry your sanitizing wipes for miss you know, boo boo kitty, so that you can refresh her and everything. Because if he is a guy of oral, and you, you know, you want to keep it fresh down there. Because if he good at it, you want him to do it all the time, all the time. So make sure that you keep a, the a few things with you, like a towel. Make sure you have a towel. Um, make sure you have uh, wipes with you make sure you have a little hand lotion with you and a little uh travel size shower gel with you just in case you know you got to touch up and refresh yourself there's nothing wrong with it he'll appreciate it and you will too because if you have to do the walk of shame um you want to you you want to be smelling good okay all right um, and number one, and this is the most important one of all, okay? Hear me good, ladies. Hear me good. You are responsible for yourself. He is not responsible for having the condoms. You are responsible for yourself. Okay, that means don't take the D-date, don't get hyped for the D-date if you are not capable of making sure that you have everything you need for the D-date, okay? Because what we want on the D-date is to be confident, we want to make sure that we boss up in there, and we want to make sure that we are making the correct choices. 
his pullout game ain't strong. But I'm telling you, if you let him do a pullout game, your ass going to be pulling out a baby in nine months. So hear me good. His pullout game is not that strong. Make sure you're protecting yourself. Because if he in the midst of it, he ain't thinking about protecting himself. He thinking about pay. And you thinking about day. And that's great. But unless you stop and be like, hold up. Let me, I'm in control of this. Keisha, Malik, Tanya, Brenda, Xavier. You gonna be having them in nine months. For sure. Yes. And he ain't gonna owe you nothing, sis. Because he gonna be like, oh, we hooked up. Yep. He gonna be like, oh, we hooked up. That's all it was. We hooked up. So I'm telling you, you are responsible for yourself. You are responsible to make sure that everything that happens, you want it to happen. Okay? Don't worry about him. He got him. You got you. And when it's over, it's done. Whether good or bad, the experience is it. Walk away, be done, or do it again. But do it again with the notion, fam, that you were always in control. And you didn't slip up. You didn't make a bad choice. You did what you needed to do. Okay? All right. So that's all I have for you guys. It's Friday night. You guys should be getting ready for your D date. Because some of y'all got D dates tonight. Shoot. Some of y'all got D weekends. Hey. Hey. And, and. I ain't mad at you. This 2020, I'm not mad at you. But hopefully you used what I told you to make a great, memorable night. And if it ain't memorable, drop that down in the comments and let me know how, they, how your D-Day go. Okay? I'm nosy as hell. How your D-Day go, girl? Okay? Or let me know if there's something you did or used that um, I recommended that you were like, that that worked. That worked for me. Girl, you can even message. You, you can even email me. You can even email me and say, Carla, girl, this is what happened to me. And I respond. I respond back to everyone. Trust me. You can email me at pretty, prettygirlj at gmail.com. You can comment below. Don't forget, of course, to like. Share the video if you would love to do that. And subscribe. I'm trying to get the subscribed up. You know, I want to make a thousand subscribers. And I mean genuine like subscribers. Like, don't don't be don't and, and please, if you're gonna email me, email me. And read it back to yourself, okay? Just saying. So, maybe, you know, every week I can do like a grown woman video. Because this definitely is a grown woman video. It's not for your kids. It's not for your, your teenagers. Um, and FYI, if he can't afford the D-date, if you having a D-date in his mama house, basement attic, auntie uncle house basement attic i'm gonna need you to not do the d-day until somebody got their shit together okay all right but anyway i love y'all see y'all soon i have other videos coming to you but this one was kind of a requested video for me and i was like why not i got you sis so to the person who personally emailed me saying that they wanted to see something like this, I got you. Hopefully you watch. Hopefully you take heed. And until next time, make sure you wash them hands, drink your water, and mind your business. I will see you soon. Bye, ladies.